Hi, my beautiful friend, and welcome to the fifth day. Is it the fifth day? I think it's the fifth day of 13 days of Halloween. Ah! I read some and I did something and I already screwed up. Okay, I told you yesterday that I was going to start my reading journal and I did and I already screwed up, but I'm, <laughs> I'm trying really hard to not let it stop me. Well, this is the first page, nothing special, just... Lotta's Reading Journal 2024-2025 and a cute sticker on top of it. And ooh, I was actually planning on adding this sticker. I don't know. Maybe I'll uh, I'll save that one and see if I can draw something underneath it. But I got to these two pages. And if you look really closely, you can see that there's something here. <gasps> Future log. Yes. I should have started a couple pages more into the journal. Where it doesn't says that. Says, says that. Huh? Anyway, this is my first reading journal. I'm gonna try to be nice to myself and just enjoy the process. And it's going to be okay. So uh, the first thing I did, I did leave some pages. I left two pages because I was like, maybe I want to do an intro or a stats at the beginning. I don't know. So I just left those blank because I, just, I have no clue what I want to do. And this was one thing I did know I want to do because Wicked Reading. Oh my God. Why did he think that a person was over there? Oh my God. Okay. This is hella scary. Anyway, <laughs> I knew I wanted to make this a Wicked Reading she uh, designed this bingo board and I want to read more horror. So I thought this is a great way to start. And I really love these stickers. And I, I, yeah, I don't know. I'm not, I don't think it's the best page I've ever seen, but it's okay. And I draw my first spider. We need to name him. If you have a name, please let me know. And I will write his name down here. I like this one. I do. It's not as horrible as I thought it would be. And the next page I think is going to be, hmm, I think it's going to be an October spread because I also somehow want to include the TBR harvest. Leandra did. I want to include it somewhere. So I'm going to make an October spread. I don't know if I'm going to do if I'm going to do that today or tomorrow, because to be honest, this stuff takes a while. I mean, I think I've been like 45 minutes. That's an insanely long time for how little I did. But anyway, I tried the printer, but it needs to charge for three hours. So that's a no-go. But let's talk about the book. The witch, the house witch. Good, the house witch. I'm now at page 168. So I have read some today. And as you can see with the tabbing. Can you see it? I don't know. Uh, I'm just in love with this book. It is so hilarious. It's so funny. But there are also so many amazing things. I just need to read you one thing. This is at a moment where Finn, the main character, he is the house witch and he just doesn't think his powers are worth something. His father is the most cruel person ever and he left when he was eight. But you just need to know that before I'm going to read this. But he says, I am weak though. I can only do things to promote peace and then the other person says you think this is weakness kingdoms go to war not because they are strong but because they are weak peace is strength finley you are far stronger than you know i feel it i feel it in my chest and in my belly like i just get <laughs> i want to say rillinge uh i get uh, i get chills all over when i read this and that's what i love about books is that no matter how much fantasy is in it there are always things about real life and i mean the things going on in this world in this world where we live in it's insane but i just got chills when i read it so i i needed to highlight it here if you want to read it on your own and also there is a character in here that is called uh dick fox and his son is called les fox 
and it's so hilarious. I mean, it, I it, I also read the the small thing on the back, and you know, I was like, this is just 100% what it is. A heartwarming and humorous blend of fantasy, romance, and mystery, featuring a witch with domestic powers and the royal household he serves dinner. I think one thing that can go wrong in so many books, which rewitched, I don't know if you can see it, but I think a lot of people won't like that book because it's just your expectations of the book are so different from what it is and with this it's just perfect and it even extends my expectations like it's just if you like what i just read a heartwarming and humorous blend of fantasy romance a mystery featuring a witch with domestic powers and the royal ho household he serves dinner then you're going to love this book i'm sure of it i can't i can't imagine that i'm going to hate it but you need to know this is not a book you can read in one day that's just one thing you need to know because it just it just takes a long time to read this and that's okay because I'm loving it and I don't want it to end so I'm happy with that I didn't start reading Mary maybe I'm going to start it today but I'm just I'm just really liking this book uh, but I'm also really liking doing like I'm re I'm re I hope I can't speak anymore. I also really like working on my reading journal. So unfortunately I don't have the audiobook because then I could do both at the same time. But yeah, I think I'm I think I'm happy that I made a decision to start a reading journal. I think I am. So I'm just gonna start on my October spreads, I think. Wait, oh my god, no, it's already this late. Okay, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do that or either tonight or tomorrow. But tomorrow the new Call of Duty comes out. So I don't know how much time I have tomorrow. Anyway, this is so much fun. I think I'm just gonna read just a little more and then I need to start dinner because my boyfriend comes home in about an hour and dinner takes about an hour. So yeah, we'll see. But so far, this is amazing. I think I need to force Danny and Leandra to read this book. Yes, I think I need to. They have no choice. Okay, so I read up page 222, so I'm in the middle and I'm loving this book so much. I've annotated it a lot, which says a lot. I'm really tired, so I'm going to bed and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll mostly be gaming because of the new Call of Duty, but I'll probably also sneak in some chapters and reading journal because turns out I'm loving it. 